hey guys welcome back so in this one we're going to go ahead and set up our next.js project and explore the basics of how routing works in next.js and also customize the way our folders are going to be so to get started right here you can see that we have the front end folder and that's where we want to work from now since we want to separate the back end and the front end so i'm going to go ahead and create a new terminal window and i'm sticking to command prompt I want to make sure we are on the same page so i don't want to be using git bash when someone doesn't have git bash installed so if you're on mac you just want to have a new window and the commands are just going to be the same so to create the next.js project we use a tool called create next app so i'm going to cd into the front end so here we want to run create next app so we could go ahead and install create next app as a global package in our on our computer but we don't want to do that because we have npx so npx allows us to use a module without actually installing it create next app included so we want to do npx create dash next dash app and then we want to give it a name so so let's say our project is going to be called maybe campaign manager we'll put the name here but for now we are going to keep it as front end so we could go ahead and add front end here and what that would do is it would go ahead and create a folder inside our front end called front end and add there all the boilerplate for next.js inside but that's not what we want we don't want to nest a front end folder inside front end in fact we but what we want is we want to create all the next.js files inside our front end so if you want to create the app directly where we are you can go ahead and add a dot at the end and click enter and you can see that now it's putting a node here so we have node and python uh, so it's gonna go, it's going to go ahead and create a node project so you can see we have the package json so we have the basically the simple starter let's wait for it to go ahead and scaffold the whole project and then we pick up from there okay so now the command is done so what it went ahead to do it created us the next.js boilerplate inside front end so we have the pages folder so inside the pages folder this is where our pages would go you can think of a page in next.js as a representation of each web page so by default we have the index.js and this is the home page so if we had like the about page we would add about.js here if we if if we add like the contact us page we would have contact us.js here and uh, the styles here we can write our styles for the components we'll write and also the the pages would draw it so if we, if we wanted to style those we would put them here so by default next.js supports css modules and css modules is just a way that you can write css that gets assigned random classes at compile time and that helps us to scope our styles to specific components and not having <laughs> and not having different styles override the other ones in other components so we have the async json this is for linting and uh, we have the config so in the config this is where we would put different settings regarding how we want next.js to handle different things so in the package json here usually we have three scripts set up for us so we have the dev script this we use in development we have the build if we wanted to deploy this to a server we would run build so we have the start so the start is used on the server so if we build the project this, this start is the one that basically runs the app in production so we also have the lint this is for linting and uh, yeah so for the dependencies we have next year we have next we have react and react dom so these use webpack and babel under the hood just so we can get a good, a good experience developing so down here we have the dev dependencies we just have yes lint stuff so to run the project to we'll take a look at what we have we run the dev script because that is the one we use in development so what we want to do is we want to put yarn dev and that's gonna go ahead and open up on port 3000 so i'm gonna go to the browser so it's compiling here so it's done compiling so if you go back here you can see that we have the next.js welcome page and our next.js project is up and running so next.js uses file-based routing so the routes we put here in the browser are immediately mapped to the files on our in our project so in the pages folder this is where you put your routes for example let's say we wanted to have like the about route so if we could we would have to write about.js like this and here what we can have is just a react component so let's just have a react component there so we have function about the convention for the file is use a small letter for everything 
And then of course, um, of course we can still use our regular components, but we're gonna see how to set up like a, a components folder. So here, this can be named anything. And since it's a React component, this one we can now name it using a capital letter. So I'm just gonna, so I'm just gonna change this one from about to about. So even this, I'm gonna change it to about. And now when I save and go back to the browser and go to slash about, notice that we get a page rendered. Our page doesn't contain anything for now, but let's say we returned an H1 that said about us like this. So if we save this, you can see that the compiling happens. So we still have hot reload enabled. And uh, if we come back here, everything updates and we have the about us. So let's say we wanted to have another page that maybe had uh, our contact information. So do that by creating a page. We would call it something like contact.js like this. And in here, we can just have a React component. The common convention is React components are named using, so React components are named using capital letters. And that's what you wanna make sure you are using. So let's return contact us. So now if you go back here, we should be able to go to slash contact and we should have the contact page being rendered. So those are the basics of just routing using this. Now we also have dynamic routing. So let's say we wanted to go to a dynamic item we pick from the server. So we're gonna be looking at that in the later videos when we are fetching from our server. But this is how we basically route. Now what I wanna do now is to show you how else we could organize this. So of course with the React kind of project, we wanna have a way to have our components in one place. So you could go ahead and you create components here, a components folder here. So let's create it. And we, this is where we would put all our reusable pieces of the UI. So also to keep organizing our project, we also wanna have a constants folder where we can keep all our constants. And you'll be seeing how we'll use this in our simple project you're gonna create. So let's have constants here. So we might have cases where we need to maybe isolate some specific functions that we reuse in different places. So we can also have a folder for that. So I'm gonna create a folder called uh, utils. So also when we are doing like data fetching, we want to have like the data fetching setup logic in one place. And uh, usually this is done in a folder called services, but sometimes you would see one called lib, especially with, especially with next year's projects. So we'll have lib here, and this is where we'll put like all our setup for like our fetcher function that would set up the like axios or something like that. So now one thing you will notice here is when we keep adding folders here, this keeps getting uh, a lot. Like we get more files added here and it's usually hard to look at. So Next.js supports us creating an SRC folder and then we can have all our major project source code in the SRC folder. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna create an SRC folder and then we are gonna move everything here. So I'm gonna move pages inside SRC. I'm also gonna move components inside SRC. I'm gonna move constants inside SRC. And also I'm gonna take the styles. So let's bring them there. And also the utils in there. Okay, so let's see what's up with the folder, the pages, cause we need them to come down here. Okay, so so after we move everything inside SRC, you can see that now our folders are still uh, minimal and we can add all our like main main source code inside SRC. So in the root, we have like config files and then all our major pro project code can go in SRC. So if we go back to our application, so I'm gonna go back to Chrome and refresh this. I'm actually gonna go to the home page. You can see that everything is, is still working out of the box and we didn't have to reconfigure anything. So something to take away here is Next.js supports putting everything inside the SRC folder by default. And uh, yeah, so that's gonna do it for this introduction video. So in the next one, we're gonna be looking at how to add like custom font, how to use CSS modules, how to route to a dynamic page. So it's gonna be interesting. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you in the next one.